Hello, pup parents, and welcome to today's episode of the Perfect Pup Podcast. My name is Devin. Today's topic is one that I have, unfortunately, way too much experience with, and that is dog hair and shedding. And so we're going to talk today about how you can reduce your dog's shedding. So let's get right into it. First things first, if you have ever found yourself and you searched how to stop your dog shedding, uh, I'm, I hate to break it to you, there isn't that doesn't exist. There's no such thing. You can't stop your dog shedding. That is a tall tale, whatever you want to call it. it it's impossible. Dogs shed. That is part of having a dog, especially if you have a, a short haired dog or a, you know, a dog that is prone to shedding. It's not, it's not going to stop. It's not going to go away. So really the question you have to ask is how can you reduce shedding? Um, and I'll also give a couple tips at the end of how to just kind of keep your house a little bit cleaner um, with dog hair. So like I said, I have a lot of experience with this. Uh, we for quite a while had three dogs. Um, as many of you know, one of our dogs passed, but all three shed and two of them Labrador retrievers and one of our labs scout. She sheds so much. It's ridiculous. I don't even understand it, but she said she sheds a ridiculous amount. So I'm going to give you some ideas for things that I've found that have helped reduce the shedding in our home. So first things first, the overall health of your dog's coat, of your dog's skin and coat is going to play a role in the amount of shedding that you see. Um, healthier hair, healthier skin, healthier coat, it's going to help reduce the amount of shedding. Um, there's kind of a lot of different things, ideas that you'll see out there, but it is important to generally make sure that your dog is getting um, you know, the things like omega threes and the healthy oils that are going to help their skin and coat stay healthy. So you can look at different supplements. You can, you know, look at different foods. If you have a dog that has extremely excessive shedding, you may want to talk to your vet, um, about, you know, specific supplements that they might need. Uh, but there are solutions out there. You'll have to do a little bit of research to find what's going to work best for your specific dog situation. Um, but generally speaking, that's kind of your first baseline is to figure out, okay, is my dog's coat healthy? Um, the second thing you can do to help reduce shedding is to brush your dog's hair regularly. This truthfully is easier said than done. Um, it really comes down to just making it a habit, but brushing your dog frequently, and I'll say It'll be different for every dog. So I'm not going to say twice daily. I'm not going to say weekly. I'm not going to say monthly because you know your dog and you know their situation. But in most cases, I would go out on a limb and say that most pup parents who are struggling with a lot of shedding are not brushing their dog enough. So make sure you look into that and or not using the right tools. I am not a groomer, um, so I'm not going to give you specific um, you'll, you'll have to do a little, I'm not trying to pawn off all the research on you, but for your dog's specific type of coat, there's a lot of different options because sometimes you want more of like a rubber style brush. Sometimes you want the wire version. Um, sometimes you want something that can pull out the undercoat. It really will depend on your dog's breed. Um, and if you want a little more guidance on that, we do have some grooming articles on the website and an at-home grooming course as part of Pupford Academy as well that you can check out. But that brushing regularly, it's just going to help get that loose hair that's already there out. And if you're brushing them, you can, you're kind of in control of when that hair is coming out, if that makes sense. So you're able to brush, throw it away, put it in the garbage can, um, kind of accumulate it where you want it versus it going all over your house as your dog walks around, runs around your house, is alive. So, um, you know, that brushing is going to make a huge difference. The, the third thing is going to be your, your bathing regimen and how you're doing that and kind of what that whole experience looks like. First things first, again, if you're having excessive shedding problems, you can talk to a vet. There are some, um, you know, shampoos and conditioners that are specifically for that. What I found has worked best for my dogs. We've used a lot of different shampoos over the years. Um, I love our Sudsy. The, um, it's a shampoo bar and it helps so much with expelling the loose hair and just helping to, as you're doing that, doing the bath and drying out after, it helps to get rid of a lot of that loose hair. Um, it is noticeably different when I use Sudsy with our dog scout 
and after she's done, or even during the bath, you see way more hair coming out. And again, it's a lot easier if you can have it in that controlled situation versus just the normal shedding that's happening everywhere. Um, another part of the bathing that I think is so, so, so important that a lot of people don't do um, is making sure that your dog is completely dried out. Um, there are some high powered dog specific or even non dog specific like blow dryers. And those are a great option. They do cost money. I mean, sometimes between 50 and a couple hundred dollars, um, but you don't have to do that necessarily. You can use a blow dryer. Um, a blow dryer is not as effective as an actual, you know, dryer that's built specifically for dogs and, and for, for grooming. Um, but it, but it is going to help. Um, the key with when you are using a blow dryer is put it on the highest setting that you can for speed because part of it, right, is you're trying to literally blow that hair out of your dog's coat, um, but it's important not to have it on hot. Um, having it on hot, it's very difficult for you to know how that's affecting your dog's skin, and sometimes you can let it get too hot and it can cause damage to the hair, damage to the skin, so do it on warm or even cool. But using that blow dryer after you take a bath makes a world of difference. So I'll typically dry my dogs with a towel, you know, as much as I can, kind of sometimes a couple towels and, and get them very dry and then start to blow dry them as well. Um, and, and you see, you physically see the hair starting to come out. So those are three things that are going to really, really help with reducing shedding um, with your dog. So again, making sure that their coat health is where it should be. And sometimes you need to add different supplements or look at the food that you're feeding them. Um, brushing regularly is going to make a huge difference. And then when you're giving a bath, using a shampoo that helps to reduce shedding like Sudsy and using a blow dryer or even a specific dog um, blow dryer to really blow that hair out from the undercoat and, and some of that hair that might kind of be sitting there that you think is out. Um, but isn't. And when you're done with that too, brushing. So again, I know that was kind of point two, but even after the baths, you bathe, you blow dry, and you brush. All of that is going to help so, so much. Um, and kind of a bonus idea, this is, I have not personally done this, but I know a lot of people who swear by it, and I've been told by groomers that there's so much value in this, um, but you can take your dog, even a short-haired dog, into a groomer, and they can do... Um, kind of a de-shedding treatment. So they, again, will do a bath typically. They'll use their high-powered blow dryers. They'll use, they'll use their brushes. Um, sometimes it's nice, you know, maybe once, twice a year, especially if you know at certain times of the year your dog sheds more, taking them into the groomer, paying for that treatment just to help reduce that shedding as much as possible. So hopefully these ideas give you um, at least a little bit of hope with the amount of dog hair that might be in your home. I will say too that, again, if you got a short haired dog, this is kind of what you signed up for. There is something about embracing that there is just going to be dog hair often and in a lot of places around your home. Um, but again, of course, you can use these tips to help reduce it. Um, my, my personal little just opinion, pro tip, whatever you want to call it, is a robot vacuum, whatever brand, whatever, that is just going to make your life 10 times easier. I probably run our Roomba at least two times a day because if I didn't, there would be hair in a lot of places. So the shedding is normal. The shedding is something that is going to happen, but with these tips, you can help to reduce your dog's shedding. So I hope this gives you some good insights. Thank you so much for watching, listening. If you haven't already, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. It's extremely helpful. For this, episode, for this podcast to get more exposure and more people to be able to find it. So please, please do that if you haven't already. And other, that, other than that, we will catch you on the next episode.